This toast was made by AI. This coffee was made by AI too. In fact, I have used AI to wash this t-shirt. Today, I will introduce you to the ultimate pioneer in the field of AI usage. Meet Mr. Satish Rohitse. That is me. Okay, I may have been lying a bit about being the pioneer in the AI usage, but I was not lying about using AI to make the bread or the coffee or using AI to wash this t-shirt. In fact, AI has been around us long before ChatGPT came into our lives. And you all have been using AI in your daily lives for decades, knowingly or unknowingly. Your smart coffee machine, your vacuum cleaner, your smart washing machine, your fancy bread toaster, your thermostat are all examples of the basic form of AI, also called rule-based AI or reactive machines. AI comes in various forms and today we will learn about all the possible stages of AI that exist or can exist. YouTube is filled with nonsensical clickbaity videos on stages of AI and in the game of one-upmanship, people have gone up to 10-15 stages of AI. We don't program the machines, they learn by themselves. But we will keep things grounded to the truth. But first, a super brief history of AI. The birth of AI in theory could be traced back to as early as 1936 when Alan Turing introduced the concept of Turing machines and theory of computation. The term AI that is artificial intelligence was first coined by John McCarthy in 1955-56 in connection with a summer workshop at Dartmouth College. It was this workshop where the field of AI research was founded. Now coming back to the stages of AI. There are multiple ways to classify an AI. One such way would be this. We can classify AI either based on capabilities or based on functionalities. These are the actual seven stages of AI, not the bullshit most of the YouTube videos are feeding you. We will look at each one of these in much more detail, but before that, there is another way to classify AI and that is between weak AI and strong AI. And if you see it together with the previous classification, this is how it would look like. This weak AI or artificial narrow AI is all that exists right now. All the forms of AI currently in reality is weak or narrow AI, including the likes of ChatGPT and Mitchell. The next one is my favorite, AGI that is Artificial General Intelligence, also known as Strong AI. AGI does not exist right now, but it's the goal of every AI researcher or AI company. An AGI system, whenever realized, will be as good as the best of human every task that a human can do. And it will be able to figure out how to do new tasks without any human intervention or training all on its own. If you want to know more about strong and weak AI, please go and watch my video AGI for Beginners where I have gone in details explaining each one of them and in a way that everyone can understand. If AGI is frightening you, wait for the next one, which is ASI, Artificial Super Intelligence. If at all ever realized, ASI will be smarter than human at everything. They'll have their own needs, their own desires, their own emotions, and they'll be master of their own destiny. Basically, they will be beyond our controls and our understanding. Thankfully, we are nowhere close to realizing ASI. Now, let's look at the four types of AI based on functionalities. The first one being reactive machines. They are the most basic form of AI. They do not have any memory and cannot learn from their own past experiences or make use of that past learning for any future decision. IBM's DeepMind, which defeated Gary Kasparov at chess back in 1997, 
is one of the most famous and classic examples of reactive machines. It simply reacted to the current state of the chessboard based on predefined algorithms and rules to come to the best possible move. It's reacted to its current state. Other examples could be smart traffic light, which decides on the duration of red and green based on the volume of cars from different directions. A smart washing machine that can adjust the load cycle based on the load in real time. A smart coffee machine that can dispense the right amount of coffee based on the size of the coffee bug. A robotic vacuum cleaner that can avoid obstacles in real time. The list is endless. The next one on the list is Limited Memory AI. The most famous example of which is ChatGPT, which has a working memory of its own in terms of context. However, the memory is limited in size. This type of AI can learn from its past experience and combine that with current data to come to the desired outcome. Other examples could be Netflix, recommending you other shows based on what you have already seen or Amazon recommending you other stuff based on what you have already bought or your search history. They use your past viewing or shopping or browsing data to learn and improve their recommendations for you. Even AI assistants like Siri, Alexa or Google Assistant will fall under this form of AI. They keep a limited amount of previous interaction in their limited memory to get better at assisting you with time. Now this is all that exists today. From here onward, we move to theoretical AI which has not been realized yet. The first one being theory of mind. This would be able to understand the thoughts and emotions of humans and will be able to have a more sophisticated human-like interaction. This will be just like humans. I am metahuman. But just not humans. And in other words, also called AGI. And the final one, the most scariest one is the self-aware AI. This will have its own needs and desires. It will be self-aware and will have consciousness. It will be a far more advanced species of its own. And in other words, also called ASI, that is Artificial Super Intelligence. Oof. These are all the seven ways you can classify an AI. And only three of them currently exist. Narrow or weak AI, this is where we currently are. Strong AI or AGI, this is where we want to go. This has always been the dream and the goal since the time of Alan Turing. Self-aware AI or ASI. This is the unknown space. This is when the AI becomes way more smarter than us. They become self-dependent and self-aware and probably a species of its own. We do not know how things will be when AI reaches this stage, ever if at all. The field of AI still has a lot to achieve, but at least now you have a clear roadmap of what has been achieved and what's coming next. What's on the way is fascinating and also a bit scary, but we will get there together. If you have made this far in the video, chances are that you have liked it. And if so, please, please do like, share and subscribe. YouTube has an AI system behind this as well.